Am I the jerk for refusing to share the money I had with my stepsister? My parents divorced when I, 16 years old female, was 5 years old. My dad remarried like 3-4 years after, and his wife also has a daughter my age. Let's call her Cora. Now, Cora and I get along just fine, though we both can be really difficult towards one another. I didn't have any siblings for a long while, so sharing was difficult at first, and still is. I try to be better, I try not to give my dad much trouble, but Cora can be a big pain in the backside because she's also selfish. Since I'm always the bigger person, she's used to getting her way. Now, we both have allowances that my dad gives us, $40, $50 every week. My mom is a chef and I love to cook with her, so instead of buying lunch, I just pack my own. My dad still gives me money for lunch, but it's less than what he gives Cora because it's just to be fair and not to actually buy lunch. So I've been saving that money for whatever. Last weekend, my stepmom took us to a fair and it was super fun. Dad gave us some money and I pulled some of what I already had just in case. Well, Cora and I basically bought the same stuff, some snacks, a few trinkets, and some t-shirts. She spent almost all her money. Then, at some point, she asked if I could give her some because she had run out and wanted to buy something. And I said no because it was my money. She said it wasn't fair because I had that money because I refused to be normal and packed my lunch, something that apparently brings her shame. I said I didn't care. My stepmom came and asked what happened, and when we explained, she offered Cora another 20. But Cora said what she wanted to buy was 30 or 40, and my stepmom only had that 20. Then she, my stepmom, asked me to do it and that she'd give me the money at home. I don't know why. Maybe because Cora called me weird a bunch of times, or because I'm fed up with her always getting her way, I said no. My stepmom reminded me she was going to pay me, and I said no either way. She said I wasn't being fair. We had an argument, and midway, I said this should be talked about with my dad, and that shut her down. Now, Cora and her friend are messing with me because of that, and I'm doubting if what I did was right. Nothing you have done here makes me think you are the jerk here. Your stepsister needs to learn to save some of her money instead of expecting others to bail her out. Cora could have used better judgment when spending her money, and her mom shouldn't have enabled her behavior further. If they're messing with you over this, stand up for yourself and maybe let your dad know what really happened. Am I the jerk for saying no to take care of my brother's pets while he's out of town for an emergency? I am nine months pregnant, just a couple of weeks away from giving birth, and my mom has been wanting to come to help my husband and me ever since we found out we were having a baby. My brother lives around an hour away, and we've been essentially sharing our mom since we are both her kids, and she wants to be with us both. Even though my brother mainly wants our mom to come over to help him clean and keep his house together because he and his fiance are both messy and struggle with household chores. She is with me now, but he still asks her sometimes if she can come over to do a quick cleanup. He found out over the weekend that his father has been hiding a serious illness from him and he is now in the hospital. So my brother has decided to leave the country this week due to this emergency. He has a fish, a hamster and a dog that belong to my nieces. His fiance, who apparently has severe anxiety and codependency, is also coming with him. Since they are both leaving, he is asking our mom to take care of his pets until the end of the week. My husband and I have two dogs and a guinea pig, and instead of asking a friend or neighbor, he asked our mom to take care of these pets. She came up with the idea of bringing all his pets here so she can take care of them, and also wait for our baby to arrive at the same time. This would mean that our house would be fuller. We would need to take care of three more pets and keep switching between kennels for our dogs since they do not get along. I feel it is unfair to put my own dogs away in their own house. I told my mom that I would prefer her to go to my brother's place and save me from the headache and stress of it, especially considering our baby could come at any moment. However, she is sad because she is trying to help us both, and by going to my brother's place, she could potentially miss the birth of our child. My husband and I feel abandoned and quite hurt since this is not the first or last time my brother has put his personal agenda before ours. This also means that our mom is leaving us during this crucial time. I want to support my brother during this tough time, but I feel like I am the one getting the short end of the stick. I believe everything could go more smoothly if his fiancé stayed back and took care of their house instead of asking our mom. I understand my mom's point of view and how this situation could be difficult for her since she wants to help us both. They do not seem to understand how important it is for me to stick to my plans, maintain my sanity and calm, and have our mom in the delivery room with me. I think you are not in the wrong here. You already have enough on your plate, and adding extra pets sounds like a nightmare. It makes sense for his fiancé to go with him to deal with a family emergency, but surely there's someone else who can help with the pets. Maybe a friend could take care of the dog so you're not overwhelmed. Am I the jerk for not accommodating my child's friend on a road trip? I have two children, a 16-year-old daughter and a 14-year-old son, from a previous marriage. For the past 4-5 years, I have taken the kids on a fun summer road trip. The three of us plan a destination and pick things we want to see on the way there and back. Last year I let each kid bring one friend along on the trip, and I am doing the same thing this year. We are planning on leaving for the trip next weekend. My daughter was planning on bringing the same friend she brought last year. Unfortunately, her friend had a fall a couple of weeks ago while riding her bike and broke her leg and collarbone. I don't think it's a good idea for her to come due to the discomfort and limitations she would face. 
My daughter says her friend still wants to come and her parents are okay with it, but I suggested she invite a different friend. She says she doesn't have anyone else she wants to ask. I went behind her back and talked with her friend's parents about it. After our conversation, they agreed that it would probably be best if their daughter stayed home. My daughter did not take this news well and thinks I sabotaged her friend coming with on purpose. She has been begging me to cancel or change some of our plans so that her friend can still come. I told her that both me and her friend's parents agree that her friend coming with isn't a good idea. She is saying she won't come on the trip at all if her friend can't come. I do feel bad about the whole thing, but at this point I don't think there's much else I could do to make this work. You did nothing wrong here. This is a great time to explain to your daughter that she didn't exactly sneak behind her friend's back any more than they did with the friend's parents. Actions have consequences, and your daughter needs to understand that being sneaky can put others at risk, making you responsible. It's not your job to do whatever it takes to get her on board with the trip. This kind of behavior raises entitled kids. Am I the jerk for telling my spouse's children how financially struggling he was when we first got together, after they hinted that I was only with him for his money? I've been married to my husband Rob for four years now. My husband's late wife died one year before we met, and we dated for two years before marriage. He has two kids, Madison who is 28 years old and Brett who is 26. Note I am not calling them my stepkids because they explicitly told me I am not their stepmom, just their dad's wife. It's always been tense between us. I've tried my best to be kind to them and have been generous when I can, but they are very cold towards me. Being a child of divorce, I can partially relate to a parent moving on, so I try not to force anything. Madison recently got engaged, and we are excited about it. Everyone was over recently, and she asked about a wedding budget from us. Rob told her he was able to contribute $10,000. She has bigger hopes for her wedding than this, so she was upset and kept asking for more. Rob, however, is still working hard on building his savings back up. Rob went to run an errand, and it was just me and his kids. Madison then asked me if I'm going to give any in addition to what her dad is giving. I told her we're a marital unit, and that's what we discussed together as a reasonable amount to contribute. She then said, I should have known. Obviously you married an older man for what he had, not for what you could give. I knew she didn't like me, but this is the most flat out rude thing she ever said. I kinda lost it and said, excuse me, who do you think has been paying the second mortgage your dad took out to pay his debts? The truth of the matter is I make more than her father by a large margin, I have no debt, and I have been paying 70% of the household bills the whole time we've been married. The $10,000 we're giving her is available because I've been able to subsidize her father's living expenses the last few years. I made it clear that not only am I not a gold digger, I'm literally wealthier than my older husband. She called me stuck up after this and stormed out. Then she called her dad later and said that I told her that I blamed her mother for being sick for her not having a better wedding budget. I told him what happened, and he was mad at her but also said I shouldn't have shared his financial details with his kids. You are not in the wrong here. He should have shared his financial situation with his kids a long time ago. She is an adult and old enough to understand that medical expenses have depleted their savings. It's a sad reality of for-profit healthcare, but he needs to be clear with them to avoid misunderstandings. Am I the jerk for telling my friend it's not my problem, she married a useless person? I, 32 years old female, am a single mother of two kids, 6-year-old boy and 5-year-old girl. My kids are donor-conceived. Before I had either of my kids, I made sure to have a year's living expenses saved. Then, I would take a sabbatical to recover from birth and bond with my kids. While on sabbatical, I still tutor some kids for extra income. My friend, 34 years old female, just had a baby two months ago. She is the breadwinner in her household, and her husband has been unemployed since he was laid off during COVID. It was great to be pregnant at the same time and have a friend with a newborn, but it has turned sour. She has been saying how jealous she is of me being able to take off a whole year from work, how she would have loved to not worry about losing their home, and how she doesn't even have a couple of hundred dollars in her savings account, let alone a whole year's worth of living expenses. I usually ignore it or brush it off because I can understand the stress she is under. About 10 days ago, she started hinting at not being able to afford daycare, and any mention of her husband taking care of their kid is brushed off. Then she started remarking on how much free time I must have, which I deflected by saying, truthfully, that being a single mom to a baby and a small kid left me no free time actually. Then last night, she came out with it and asked if I could do her a favor and watch her kid while she's at work. I was firm but polite when I said that I couldn't, that I am not capable of watching two kids under six months. She started almost begging me, saying she can't afford daycare and if she is not back at work, she will lose her job and they will end up homeless. I again brought up her husband and she said that he was not good with kids and isn't capable of taking care of her kid. I kept saying no, she kept pushing until it escalated to her calling me heartless and me telling her that it's not my problem she chose to have a kid with a useless man. Now she blocked me, and I am feeling very guilty about what I said and feeling like an awe. In my opinion you have done nothing wrong here. It's frustrating and impractical for her to expect you to provide childcare when her unemployed husband should be stepping up. 
You only have a limited amount of time left on your hiatus, and it's not your problem to solve. Her letting her situation cloud her judgment doesn't justify her inappropriate behavior. The truth is, her husband needs to pull his weight, or she needs to reevaluate her situation. Am I the jerk for not allowing my parents to take a picture of me with my cap and gown? I, 16-year-old male, graduated last Friday. After the ceremony ended I couldn't find my parents anywhere. My mom sent me a text letting me know that my sister went into labor and that she and my dad were at the hospital. This upset me because I thought my parents were there, but realizing that they weren't just made me sad. I saw everyone else with their family taking pictures and stuff, and I was just standing there awkwardly not knowing what to do. My mom told me that they would be back ASAP to come and get me. They did not. I waited for a good 20 minutes watching everyone else leave. I decided to walk home because I got tired of waiting. I walked three miles before my parents drove by and made a U-turn to come and pick me up. They were mad when they saw me walking. They told me that it was disrespectful of me to leave without telling them and accused me of putting myself in danger. I told them that there weren't a lot of people left at the ceremony and I didn't want to wait anymore. They told me that they were sorry and kept trying to justify why they left. I told them that it doesn't make sense for them to leave when my sister's husband was there with her and if they really wanted to abandon me, they could have at least had one of them stay with me. But they left me with no one to watch me and ruined what was supposed to be a good day for me. My sister didn't even give birth that day. She gave birth like 18 hours later, which pissed me off more. The problem is my parents are upset with me because they wanted to take another picture of me with my cap and gown on, but I refused. The one they took of me in the car, I wasn't smiling, and my parents wanted a redo because of it. I told them no. I said that if they already had a picture of me, that's all they are going to get. I told them that there are pictures of me on my school's Facebook page, and they can screenshot it from there or leave it alone. If they choose to attend my college graduation, they can maybe see me in another cap and gown. But until then, I don't see why I have to put it on just for them when they chose to miss it. They feel as if I'm punishing them by not allowing them to take a picture of me. I just feel like if they wanted a picture, they should have been there. Other than that, they can use the ones on Facebook, the one in the car, or none at all. You are not the jerk. One parent should have stayed with you while the other went to the hospital. It's a reasonable compromise. Your sister had her husband with her, and it's not like she was alone or in distress. The moment has already passed, and your parents weren't there for it, so it's understandable you don't want to pretend it's a happy memory. Thanks for watching. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. To finish listening to all the stories, check out the playlist in the description.